Hi, Amy with Fashion Toppings here with a shopping haul. Now this is stuff that I've accumulated over um, the past two, two and a half weeks. So I do have stuff from, uh, a couple items from Cherokee Rose, which is a consignment shop. I have a few things from the Salvation Army. And I have a few things from Hut 8, which is that resale shop. And oh, and then one item from Altered State, my favorite retail, uh, retail store. So I'm gonna start off with Altered State. Now, uh, Altered State had a clearance on some of their shoes, and I love uh, having the ballet flats. I have them in black, and I have them in, um, I have a caramel brown, but I wanted a bone color or a cream color, and they had them and they were on clearance. They're originally only uh, $24.95, and they're the Wanted brand, and then they were on sale for $19.88. You'll be able to see it. Uh, and then they were on sale for $19.88, and then I got an extra 50% off. So I got these for basically $9, and so and they're so cute, and they're comfortable. They are the bone-colored um, flats. You can see they have kind of a snakeskin look to them, and they're the Wanted brand, and they're the ballet flats. So I love these, and for $9, I'll get a ton of use out of these, especially with um, sundresses during the summer because it's such a natural, it's, a, it's the, kind of a nude color. So, okay, so that was the first thing I got. And the next thing, so now this I got from uh, the consignment store, uh, Cherokee Rose, and I actually am consigning some of my stuff there. And I sold a purse and uh, one other little item. So I had a credit there of like almost $17. Um, so I saw these, they don't fit me, but I'm using the fabric because uh, these are only a size size four but they feel like lambskin they're leather pants and they look at the, the look to them see that kind of oh they're, i mean look at how they're like butter look at how soft that leather is look at that isn't that gorgeous look at the the just the slight discoloration in them and it's got the line so i got these leather pants and they are genuine lamb uh, uh, this says genuine leather, so I'm not sure if it's lamb or not, but it's, it's extremely soft. And then it has the satin lining on the inside. And they had them consigned there for only $18. So they had them consigned there for $18, and then they had an additional 20% off um, because I was consigning there. I, I don't know if it's a special they're having for that day or if it's because I had brought stuff in to consign. But um, so I got these. And when they rang up, I actually didn't have to pay anything. I still have a $2 credit at the store. So it's, that's nice. And so what I'm thinking of is with these pockets, I'm thinking about making like a messenger bag, cutting straight across here and having these two pockets on the outside of the bag for like a cell phone and keys um, and making some, cause this is just too soft and making some type of messenger bag out of this. And then if there's anything left over, I wouldn't mind using some of the leather to put some patches on the elbow of a blazer. So, but I have to go out and buy a leather needle because I don't have a leather needle before I can get started with the project. I've never really worked with leather, so this is gonna be a new thing for me. Okay, the next, the next stuff that I got, I got at HUD 8, and I absolutely love everything I got at HUD 8. I think, this that's where I got this shirt. This is the Lucky Brand. Um, it's a Lucky Brand shirt that I got there, and I think this was in the it was either the day where I can fill a bag for twenty dollars or the day that everything was on sale for a dollar. I can't remember, but I did. I believe I got this at Hut Eight, and it's a Lucky Brand shirt. And that was from a previous sale. So I had gone into their store, and I saw a shirt that I fell in love with, and I'll show you that shirt. But um, I didn't want to pay $23 for it, especially since it's secondhand. Um, and then I left. The next day I get a text from them saying everything's 40% off. <laughs> so I called them, I'm like, you know, told them about the shirt, is it still there? It was, so I went out there and I ended up buying two more shirts on top of it. So I'm gonna show you my favorite, favorite shirt first. This is the shirt that caused me to go back there a second trip. Now the brand is Riff Stars, R-I-F-F -F Stars, but it's a button down. The inside has the collars lined with that little British flag. Here's the brand, it's brand new. Still has the tags on it. And it's actually, Riff has something to do with the Rolling Stones because this tag actually talks about the Rolling Stones. 
but as originally this shirt was originally this shirt was originally $69.50. Their prices, it was $23 and then, um, yeah, $23 and then it was 40% off. So, so it was about $13. Um, but still, that's a really good deal. $13, this shirt is brand new. It has the tag still on it that says it was almost $70. But this is what's so cute about it. So there's the inside of the collar. Now check out the back. You know I love button downs, and you also know I love to sew or applique things on the back of button downs to make them more creative. This is already done. Look at this. Rolling stones. Is it, that's the back of the shirt. And then look at the sleeve, it has the flag on it. So how fun is this? The back of my shirt is gonna have the rolling stones on the back. Like I said, the British flag on the sides, the British flag on the insides. But then, this is what's gonna make it so cute to wear. Look at the cuffs of the shirt. Outside's black, and when you roll up your cuffs. Oh, this shirt, I think is now, this shirt might be more, I think it, this might be right up there with my Marilyn Monroe shirt. And uh, this is just oh, new with tags, and just the character of it, look at that. And it's just a but regular button down. It's got the pockets on the front. Pockets on each side. So, uh, love, love, love this one. Okay, so that was my favorite thing. And on the whole theme of button downs, I fell in love with this one too. Now, I've noticed like on Pinterest, and when you talk about flannels, a lot of flannels are now being dip dyed or bleached, where you, you just dip the bottom of the shirt in bleach, or maybe you dip the top of it in a colored bleach and then the flannel kind of takes on a whole new life. I'm gonna be doing that soon with one of my shirts, but this one kind of already has it done and I bought it this way. And this one also, brand new, has the tag still on it. The brand is Buffalo by David Britton. And they said it was, a, the lady that was working there said this is a good brand. I have never heard of it though. It's called Buffalo by David Britton. There you go. But what I like about it is all, it, it's, look at the, you can see the different colors. So it's a plaid, regular plaid button down. And it's got the, the darker pocket, the lighter, you know, torso or bodice. And then it's got the darker sleeves and it's the same on the other side. And what's nice is then they have little pads or your elbow pads are circles that match the front of the shirt. So isn't that cute? That is another button down. And I'll try these on for you and I'll take a picture. But the discoloration, and it's nice and long. So I'll be able to wear this and leave it untucked with over leggings or jeans. And I think this will look really cute with my white jeans. So I got that. Okay, this one was also $23 and 40% off. And that was at Hut 8. Okay, and another brand new shirt from Hut 8. Uh, this one actually sells tags on it too and it's Macy's, and uh, $68, $68 is the original price. And I paid, once again, $23 with 40% off. So I'm getting all these shirts for $13 a piece. They're brand new, and they still have their tags on them. So, and they're great, great name brands. Now this is uh, Sean, uh, Sean John, I think that's P. Diddy. <laughs> I think this is his brand, but what I liked about this, one, it'll match my khakis, but two, it has orange. I really liked the white, the beige, and the orange together with the big pockets. And um, so I just, I don't know, I just like the print of it. I liked how it had the, um, the buttons at the top of each side, the little straps. So I just thought this was really cute. And it could be tucked in um, or left untucked. And once again, it'll match just about everything. And I love, like I said, I love wearing these as a jacket. And I also love the fact that I can wear these no matter what my jeans are looking like that day, it covers my butt. <laughs> so, um, got another one of those button downs. So the leather pants, the three shirts, the, okay. And then um, also at Cherokee Rose, my friend Meg uh, makes these bracelets. Miss Milo. Um, she makes these bracelets and I love them and she knows that I love them. So she gave me uh, three of them. So see, isn't that beautiful? Print on this one. She makes them out of Ed Hardy belts. 
So she made me that one. And she made me this one. She makes another belt, so they're the little cuff, cuff bracelets. And then one of them I'm wearing, because this, this one's my favorite, and I wear it, worn it since she, almost every day since she gave it to me. This one is also a belt, but it has um, the hearts, and it, little metal hearts, and it kind of reminds me of, um, reminds me of some of my Brighton jewelry, the, the, de uh, the detail that's on these hearts. So um, she gave me those, and she also gave me, this is what she makes the bracelets out of, and so she gave me one of her Ed Hardy belts. So I think that's kind of cool. It's got the metal on it, and it's got the Ed Hardy. And I do not have um, a cream belt that I like, and so I will get a lot of use out of this. Out of this. I do have some cream belts that I got at a uh, little black bag when I went out of business, and <laughs> that's a long story. They don't work that well. So, But I love this belt. I've already worn it a couple times. So that was um, Cherokee Rose again. Okay, then I had some time to stall. My son was doing some volunteer work. And um, so I went by the Salvation Army just to see what they had because I have an idea for a project, but I don't have the material for it. And so I've been looking for it. So the first thing I got at the Salvation Army is this also still had the tags on it. But let's see, I cut the tags off of it to save for the video because I was going to wash this and I ended up not washing it yet. I don't know where the tags are, but it was $12.99 and it was 50% off day. So I only paid $7 for this. And this is a matching pajama set. Look at how beautiful the print is. So it is just a, a collared shirt, pajama shirt, standard, but you can see the print, how pretty that is. So it's a satin long sleeve pajama shirt with the uh, satin pajama shorts, dress, or elastic waist with the drawstring. And I love the I love the pattern of these, and I love sleeping in silk pajamas, silky pajamas. And the brand on these is Jones New York. So that's the brand is Jones New York, and it still had the clear tag popped out of it, so someone bought these and never wore them, thank goodness. And then it had the Salvation, Name, Salvation Army tag on it for $12.99 and I got them for basically seven. So got that. Now I was talking earlier about the flannels and um, this is gonna be a DIY. I didn't want to dip dye or experiment with my good flannels that I like to wear. Um, so I bought one, it was 50% off day. So this was $5.99. My camera will not focus today. Um, it was $5.99 but then I got 50% off. So basically I paid three bucks for it. But it's a nice color. And it's just a flannel, nice and bright. But this one I'm gonna do, I think, the bleach dip dye. I'm gonna dip the bottom of this shirt halfway up the torso. I'm gonna dip it quickly in bleach. And um, it does a really cool effect. I've seen it seen it on Pinterest, and I've seen it sold at She Inside and a few other stores. Um, and I just love the look. And so I'm gonna experiment and do it myself. And Seville Row is the brand of the shirt. I've never heard of Seville Road row but um from the pinterest page it looks like you needed to you it you need to use flannels that have a lot of color to them and then this should bleach down to be like a yellowish white and a lighter green at the bottom so i think they'll look really cute and i will do a video on that when i do it <laughs> and whether it turns out or not i'll still do a video on it but so i got that okay this next sweater I love. It was $5.99 and was 50% off day. I still have it inside out from trying it on. The brand is Faded Glory. So it's just basically, I think Faded Glory is a, um, either a Walmart brand or a Target brand. But let me turn it inside right. I got this in the plus size section of the Salvation Army. And... This is a really soft sweater, especially for you know, not being a big name brand. But here it is. It's a very pretty, it's like, it's green. It's coming across more blue on the screen, but it's actually a green, but it's really soft. It's, it is thin, but look at how long it is. And it has the, the V and the ribbing on the side. 
So I can leave this, I can wear this with a little white t-shirt or cami underneath. And, um, slide back up. And then wear this over leggings. And I think this will look really cute. And it's, it's really soft. So I was excited to get that. And then the next two items I got, I actually got these to use for maybe a future DIY project. I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet, but they spoke to me. They had a, someone must have donated, like from an event or something. They must have donated. There's about 30 shirts up there that were all this. I would have bought all 30, but I, didn't want, I wasn't sure what I was going to do with them. And I didn't want to hold on to 30 shirts and try to come up with an idea. So I bought two of them. And they were $1.99, 50% off. So each one of these were a dollar. And it's just the I love New York. Now even if I cut this up and make it into a shopper's bag, you know when you go to the grocery store and it has the I love New York on it, I thought it would be cute. But um, for a dollar, and I got two of them. And they're all, they're all larges, but they look really tiny. That is another one. So I got the two I Love New York shirts, which I don't know if I'll make a skirt out of them, I'll make pillows out of them, or shopper, shopper's bag out of them, I'm not sure. So well, I got a lot of stuff. I got the leather pants. I got the shoes from Want, uh, the Wanted brand um, ballet slippers. As a gift, I got the bracelets and the belt. Leather pants. Okay, I got the three button downs and uh, the two I Love New York shirts, the sweater, a pair of pajamas, and a flannel that I'm going to use for a DIY. So that's pretty much everything I got on this trip. So, okay, and I'll put pictures at the end. And this is Amy with Fashion Toppings. Until next time, you have a great day.